What's going on everyone? Silly Tails here. Just want to do a different kind of video. Usually I do the Pokemon pack opening videos, but I want to actually show off one of my many binders. Uh, doing it from the phone, as you can see the phone shadow because I'm a horrible video taker. Never made a video like this before. And uh, this was the first binder I started creating when I got back into the Pokemon TCG about six, seven months ago. So these are the stickers from one of the collector tins. And I bought this Vault X binder on Amazon. I like it a lot, but as you'll see, the cards are kind of sloppy in the holders unless you have a sleeve on them, like a big sleeve. So I don't recommend this binder specifically, to be honest. But uh, so check it out. And my absolute horrible handwriting is Unbroken Bonds, Hidden Fates, and Detective Pikachu. That way, many, many years down the line, I won't forget what binder has what. So. Up top, you can see the Faramosa and Buzzwool GX, and I do it all in order, number order, so any spot that's missing is a card I am missing. So, yeah, this video is not coming out super great. I'll probably still upload it, though. Man, I am a, a horrible video taker. I am so sorry. But if you guys like this, I will be doing another binder video uh, for Evolutions and Sword and Shield, because those are definitely some of my favorite sets. Love this Blastoise GX. As I love collecting the reverse hollows. I think they look amazing. Let's see if I go out a little bit further. Doopa doopa doo. So yeah, so this is uh, Unbroken Bonds. It was the first set that got me back into the TCG. Alolan Muck and Muck GX. I don't know what my best card is from this set, so whatever one you wind up seeing, I love this Gengar. I love, I love Ghastly and Haunter and Gengar. Drowsy and Hypno, so amazing. That Mewtwo up here is super amazing. I wonder how I could possibly record without there being a horrible shadow. Maybe I can, maybe I can't, I don't know. One of my favorite cards ever. It's just like, I don't know, it seems like hard to read the card. But that is Machamp and Marshadow GX. As I love the original 151, look at this whole page, original 151. Absolutely gorgeous. I thought Unbroken Bonds was an amazing set. I hate when I'm missing a card though. It's like impossible to... To complete a set like without trading or without buying singles and I tried but not not the easiest of tasks again sorry for the video quality just thought this would be a fun video to make that is one of my favorite cards ever is that Snorlax he is so cute with the Pikachus behind him oh I love that Snorlax so much little Celesteela GX also when I was collecting these sets I was actually selling a lot of my cards so actually, I may have pulled quite a bit more than what you're seeing, and I just wound up selling them because I am an animal. That was the first gold card I ever pulled, was Gold Beastbringer. I was so happy when I pulled it, and it was worth literally like $2, and it made me very sad. So this is my pride and joy. This is the set that's my pride and joy. This is Hidden Fates. It's my favorite set, and I bought hundreds of, hundreds of packs of Hidden Fates. So this is just the non-shiny vault right here. Yeah, like, I got almost every card reverse hollow except for like a few. So Pinsir GX, Charizard GX. You got your Starmie GX, your Gyarados GX. Raichu GX up there. Mewtwo GX, Onix GX. I love the Mewtwo, it's so cute. Over here we got a little Wigglytuff and the birds. Oh god, you pull so many of the birds when you open up Hidden Fates. It is crazy. I said well, most most things are reverse hollow. Looks like a couple of the trainers are not. But then we start getting into the the meat of the binder here. I love the full art birds up there. Giovanni's Exile is so cool, and so is Jesse and James. Two of my favorite cards that are worth like absolutely nothing. And then you have the hyper rare the birds right there, and then you have the three promos that came out of the tins and Walmart boxes. This is one of the coolest cards ever made. I think is the um. The stained glass birds from the ETB. And like I said, I did actually wind up selling a lot of my cards, which I kind of wish I didn't now, but um, it was okay. It helped me buy more Pokemon cards. So, a whole, uh, you know, I don't have every shiny Pokemon, but I got the Metagross, the Zoroark, the Electro, Turdinator, Lycanroc, Kartana, and then the regular non force Kartana, uh, Gibble. My favorites up here are Charmander, Charmeleon. And of course, the Gem Mint 10 Charizard GX, gorgeous. Sudowoodoo, Buzzwall, Lucario, Swablu, Beldum, Celesteela, Karelia, 
Who's that up there? That is Shuppet, Poiple, Type Null, Noibat, Froggy, Magnemite, and Magnezone. So that's it. That's it. Like I said, I definitely wish I had um, not sold a lot because I actually had every gold Tapu card, uh, all the gold trainer cards, and a lot of other full arts too. I had the full art Shiny Mewtwo, which I'm really sad I got rid of. And these are just a whole bunch of various promo cards. This EVGX is one of my favorite promo cards ever made. I love the Jirachi, the Arceus, and the uh, Celebi. And then uh, just random um, random other ultra rares I pulled from sets I'm not collecting. So uh, the Any Porter was another one of my first golds. The Trainer Mail Gold was really cool, I thought. Alakazam. Uh, just, just a whole bunch of really, really nice full art cards. Some of the, like, I love that Pikachu, that Flareon, uh, the, the trio, Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon. Just absolutely gorgeous cards that Pokemon has released over the years. And then I do have a full uh, Detective Pikachu set, which is not impressive at all, but I'm happy about it. And then uh, I kept an extra Charizard, because obviously Charizard is my favorite. All the promos from Detective Pikachu, and then my... Hidden Fates, Reverse Hollow cards, uh, Energy cards that I think would never be worth anything. But that's it. That's all I wanted to show off. And bam, show that off one more time. Let's uh, while I'm while I'm recording, let me just show you over here too. Is my jumbo card collection, some of my favorites. And in case you were ever wondering what's behind me when I am recording videos, I have the Rayquaza statue with a uh, Hyper Rare, the birds, and then just insane amounts of video game items and Funko Pops. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Have an amazing day, night, wherever you are. And I'll see y'all next time. More Pops behind me. I'm obsessed. Bye, guys.